We know that in the world today, everyone is seeking for freedom. And the freedom that the world is speaking, unfortunately, it is not freedom, but a new form of slavery. It is a slavery to self, because they are not able to control their passions. Today, freedom is seen in a very individualistic and self-centered way. It is about my right, but it is not about the right of others. Yes, so in the name of freedom, drugs are being permitted in a number of countries and growing in number. And yet we know that drugs is the cause of misery in society. Families have been destroyed because these people exercise their freedom to take drugs. Drugs is not just only affecting the individual. It affects the family. It affects society. But you see, society is blind because they say, it is their right. Again, freedom. And we know very well, it is because of promiscuity. Even with strict laws, every day in the papers, there are still people being molested and so on. The laws have no power over the passion of the one who is tempted because his mind has been conditioned by what he reads, by what he sees. You cannot get rid of evil just using the laws. All the gun laws in other countries, have they protected the people? No. In fact, the people today are even more insecure. So what is freedom? So I think it's very important to understand what is the basis of freedom. Freedom ultimately lies in the fact that we are created in the image and likeness of God. It's important. Freedom is not something that we human beings possess because of our very nature as human beings. God gave us that freedom and we are created in the image and likeness of God. That is why we are free. So freedom actually is a gift from God. It is not our right. It is a gift. Animals don't have freedom. They go by their instinct. Human beings have the mind to choose what is right, what is wrong. But because it is a gift, it has to be used wisely and properly. So, if we have created the image and likeness of God, which is to share the freedom of God, what is God's freedom? God's freedom is to love. God's freedom is to give. God's freedom is to forgive. God's freedom is to make sure that we are loved. God's freedom is to reach out even to those people who have hurt Him and rejected Him. God's freedom is not limited by retaliation, anger, God's freedom is to love even when He is not loved. There is only one freedom. The freedom to do good. The freedom to love. The freedom to serve. The freedom to die to yourself. That is the only true freedom. All other freedoms, they are abuse freedom. They are not freedom. So if you want to say that you are a free person, let me see the likeness and the image of God in you. Let me see how you act. If you act like God, then you are free. Otherwise, you are not free. So don't deceive yourself into thinking, I'm free, when you are acting contrary to your image and likeness. We are created for love, created for good, not for evil. So if you do evil, then you are not free. Jesus is presented as a model of true freedom. Jesus has no fear of men. He speaks what is right. He does what is the right thing to do. He knew that the only law is the law of love. So Jesus is the truly free man. He was not even afraid when he was put on trial and eventually condemned to death. He was free. He was not afraid of death. We have Jesus who has come to call us to repentance. And repentance actually is true freedom. If a person can repent, he is free. A person who cannot repent, pride has taken over him. How do you know you are free? When you are able to repent. Repentance is a sign of humility, being remorse, being humble to accept the word of God, humble enough to recognize that you have gone wrong. That's why repentance sets you free. Why does God ask us to repent? 
not to humiliate us, not to punish us, not to make us miserable. Repentance sets you free. Everyone who goes for the sacrament of reconciliation with sincerity, with contrition, after you come out of the sacrament, you feel so free. And many Catholics, you know, they don't know how to make use of sacrament of reconciliation. Because why? Because they are not free. Because they are a slave of their pride. Oh, I don't need to go for confession. We find all kinds of excuses. If you are truly free, you should have no issue opening yourself to the love and mercy of God. Jesus is truly the one who can give us insight and give us the wisdom to live a good life. He is the way, the truth, and the life. So do we come to Jesus? If we come to Jesus, then of course, He shows us the way to be free. So if we are truly set free, then of course we live the life of Christ, the life of love, the life of service. In faith, we claim that Jesus is our Saviour and our Lord.